Please, let's, let's, we do I've this. Had it. I had it. I understand. Okay, may I send Mr. Greenspan and Mr. Adderley in? I tried to stop him, Major. I'm sure you did, Melville. It's like you to try. He is your superior. Now, I don't mean that as a value judgment, but you're to do as he says. Do you have an explanation? I went back in the field. I know that. But is this any way to go about it? Insubordination and breaking protocol? Well, is it? Well, let's get on with it, shall we? You want to get back into the field so you come storming over here. And as usual, you fail to stop them. We repeat this little scene at least once a month. My staff runs a pool trying to guess when. I don't like it. And I want it to stop. Now, do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. It won't happen again. Tell the Major it won't happen again. We have lots of work to do over at Miscellaneous. Are we going to rearrange the furniture again? Adderley, you're not... if you... Major, I've taken on about a hundred trivial assignments for this office. Each one with the implied impression, do a good job and we'll make sure you get back in European assignment. Are you waiting for my hand to grow back? You got any change? The change in your pocket, throw it in the air. Throw it. 83 cents. Eight pennies, two quarters, two dimes, and a nickel. Just luck. Well, Greenspan. Let me have a word with that, only. Certainly, sir. And don't say I didn't warn you. You've improved, Adderley. I know. I used to have trouble with dimes. I mean, you've matured. You didn't shout, you didn't threaten me. And you've just given me some reassurance in the matter of your hand. Please go on, sir. I want to put you back in the field, Adderley. On a trial basis only. Well, what are you waiting for? My assignment. It'll come through official channels, Adderley. From your superior. That'll be all. Take it easy, we don't want to damage any of the contents. Hold it! All right, pick up your girlfriend. Take it easy. All right, let's get back to work, guys. Let's open it up. Move it! 
Let's open up this crate. I want to see this furniture you got inside. All right, pull that stuff out. Move! You were right, Daddy. Uh, someone was failing us. Uh, should I go talk to him? No. But there's no one around. You don't talk to someone you might have to kill, son. I think our friend has learned his lesson. But if he hasn't, then you can talk to him. Get the door. That's it? <laughs> uh, send Danderley in, Mona, please. At his convenience. Yes, sir. That is convenient. <laughs> As to where they are sending me, we are about to find out. Yeah. Oh, we got to get everything in order, though. You got paperwork to finish. I can do that for you. And your passport needs to be updated, and your shots. Uh, Adderley won't be needing a passport or shots, Mona. Why is that? Your assignment is to take a pouch to our men on the coast. A courier? A mailman. There's no mistake, is there? No, Major Clack was explicit. Saying something about every journey beginning with a single step, that sort of thing. I could call it off. I'm sure we could find someone else who would be glad to be a male. I mean, courier. It's not fair. Adderley deserves better. That'll be enough of that. Well, I'm sorry, but I, I mean, I really have, it's, it, well, you, May I please be excused? Please. I take it by your silence. You agree to take on the assignment. You understand that you're to report to me? Only to me? Yeah. Not that you'll have to. You'll fly out, make the drop, fly back. Piece of cake, right? Right. But don't take this lightly. The whole organization will have its eyes on you. This is a trial run. Make it successful. And who knows what assignments they'll send your way. Is that clear? Perfectly. It's not like the old days. Economy class tickets and a tight per diem. No frills all the way. The pouch is ready. And unless you want me to throw some coins up in the air, I suggest that you be on your way. You're really enjoying this, aren't you, Melville? I can't tell you how much. That'll be all, Adderley. Bon voyage. Sir, number 4.6. A handle well. What? A handle well. Oh, yeah. Like a dream machine, man. Good. Handle it right back to where you got it. Sir, this is the car they reserved for you. I don't want it. I can see what you mean. What car do you want, sir? Let me put it this way. If you were a car thief, and you could only steal one car from the whole lot, Bring me that one. You know how much that car's worth? Don't tell me. You sure it's supposed to be the deluxe suite? Can't understand how we could make such a mistake. I could swear that Mr. Greenspan said that you'd want the budget room. Well, he's not above making a few mistakes himself. Well, this room is much more expensive. <laughs> Do you like it? It's 
perfect. <laughs> Just make sure Mr. Greenspan gets the bill. Oh, I'll do that. Sir, may I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a book. Yes. Mahatma Gandhi on the martial arts. Excuse me? Mahatma Gandhi on the martial arts. I'll check. Thank you. Hmm. He, he couldn't have missed you. Well, he wasn't within three blocks of the drop. Well, he knew you were coming. Well, maybe he's baking a cake. We can do without the comedy, Adderley. I'm reporting to my superior and only my superior for instructions. Damn it, Adderley. This hasn't happened before. Just give me a moment to think. Aren't we following Leningrad rules? Yes, yes. Lenin Leningrad rules. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a letter. Just give me a moment. Stop turning pages, Melville. If the first drop fails, then a second drop is attempted at a fallback site the next day. Of course. Of course. Uh, you're, you're, you're doing a very good job uh, out there, Adderley. Uh... Adderley, wait, wait. I've just got a motel room, Bill Adderley. You, you're not following instructions. Why did you change rooms? I didn't like the wallpaper, but I'm glad to hear I'm doing a good job. Ciao. Uh... I'll look into it. Uh, goodbye. Yeah. Do you have something to file? No. Well, no, it's my lunch hour. Then eat something. You get 20 years for that. Mother Goose sends her best. I could have broken your neck just now. Yeah, what makes you so sure you didn't? It makes a special little sound just before it snaps. Yeah, right. What happened to you yesterday? Your alarm clock break? I was on a job. You the courier? Then why are you looking through all that stuff? That's highly classified material. Leningrad rules. If the second drop fails, the courier is to destroy the pouch and the contents. You interrupted me before I could do that. Yeah, well, sorry, but you're not exactly the mailman type, are you? <laughs> we agree on something. Here you go. 
Mother's compliments. Thanks. Take it easy, sport. Wait a minute. You're... No, you couldn't be. My God, you are. You're Adderley, right? I've always known that. D.H. Adderley, I don't believe it. This is great. What section are you in now? Domestic? Foreign? Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous? Where's that? It's in the basement. All right, Greenspan in the basement, right. Hey, Greenspan, he makes me look good. He'd make anybody look good. Yeah, well, wait a minute. What do you do for them? You just saw it. You got your delivery? I must get back to my office. They used you for that? Yeah, well, they're bringing me back slowly. Very slowly. Yeah, they brought me back fast. Very fast. Too fast. <clears throat> There's no such thing as coming back too fast. Yeah, well, there was for me. Tell me about it. Come on, walk me to my car. You gave me a pretty good tussle back there. I'd say you're okay for nerve. It's not the nerve, it's the rest of it. It's hard to explain, but I remember everything they taught me in training school, but... <laughs> That's not gonna do you much good. Exactly. But the good stuff, you know? What I picked up in the field, I mean, it's completely wiped out. It's like it never happened. Nicole Villeneuve? I remember her. Green eyes, dark hair, beautiful body, and a brain to match. Yeah, she was good. In line to be area chief until... Say it. When she got killed, I was in love with her. Yeah? Well, you didn't have a chance. She was crazy mad about her partner. Who told you that? She did. Met her in London. She only had an hour, but all she wanted to do was talk about him. Mon espion de mon livre, she called him. Quite a guy, by her account. My spy of the free world. Yeah. <laughs> Me. You were her partner? That's right. Go ahead. Say it. I had nothing to do with Nicole Villeneuve's death. And the rest of it. She was where she was supposed to be, and so was I. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I don't think it's doing me much good. I still feel like I've, I've lost my touch. You've heard of up or out? You do it right, you get a promotion. You do it wrong, you're out. Well, I managed to maneuver myself into that kind of a deal. Huh? By telling Central I did not want to go on being their man on the coast. Hell, that's just a cut up of being a... <sighs> Sorry. It's okay. It is just a cut above miscellaneous affairs. So they gave me this case. I do it right, I'm back in the field. I do it wrong, I'm back parking cars. What's the case? Well, you no, know, I didn't say I could help you. I just asked what it was. It's a guy named Belkin. He imports furniture, but he spends money like he prints his own. Maybe he does? No, no, I got a hold of some of it. It's, it's government issue. Drugs? Well, the dealers don't know him. Run them back through Central. They must have something on them. I already did. It was their answer you were bringing me. Quote. Nature of subject's activity is not known. Investigation is your repeat. Your responsibility. Well, looks like the ball's in your court. Maybe you'll get lucky. Yeah. I got a plane to catch. Any ideas, any advice? I mean, what do you think my next move should be? I'll pay for the drinks. One hour to change a tire. On an airplane, Melville, you don't just lie down the street and jack it up. I never heard of it. Have you ever done it before? Change a tire in an airplane? No. Good. You need a Johnson hoist and a T-bar. They don't grow on trees yet. Now go. Would I lie to you? Yes.
Try stop and go surveillance. What good will that do? Just stick with him like glue some days. Wherever he goes, you go. But no sneak stuff. Let him see you. And on other days, leave him alone. All right, but what's the pattern? There is no pattern. It's all arbitrary. Say you follow him if, uh, if the Blue Jays won that day. Leave him alone when they lose. I don't understand. Yeah, neither does he. He gets so confused trying to figure out your actions that he gets careless about his own. This might work. Sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Good luck. You too. Thanks. Just a sec, Pete. Uh, it happens all the time. Just slam it. Pete! Get the hell out of here! to the door. Time so you'd be comfortable for your last ride. You're getting close to something, buddy. Not utterly fog. Fog on the coast at this time of year. Well, it can happen any time here. It comes and goes quite suddenly. Even the natives are astounded. Yes, well, the major will astound you if you're not back here, PDQ. How long did you say? The airline people say about an hour. I'm going to check on this, Adderley. I can get a real-time meteorological report from the office. It'll take Mona an hour to fill out the request form. Longer if you help. I don't care. The fog will be lifted by then. Adios, Melville. Mona! That's Greenspan for you. No matter what he says, his true character always shines through, no matter how hard he tries. I just hope you don't get in trouble. I'm always in too much trouble. Well, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you're doing. Forget it. I didn't get insurance on this car. Who's ever after you could have cost me a fortune. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Belkin's done. Seems like a slow day. Yeah. On a good day, a ship comes in and Belkin's men unloaded. It's always crated. When they open the crates in the warehouse, it's always furniture. Mm -hmm. Somehow he makes a fortune. Sure he didn't win the lottery? He didn't. He doesn't play the horses or speculate in the stock market. Damn it, Adderley, it doesn't make sense. The guy makes millions bringing in a few sticks of furniture. Wait a minute. There he is. Who's the trained bear? Belkin's son. His name's Butch. Butch? Yeah, it's Percival, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, he did time for assault. You know, that's another thing. If Belkin is legit, what does he need muscle for? Well, maybe he's teaching him a family business. What's your next move? Break in the warehouse tonight, take a look around. That'd be breaking. Well, we do break the law now and then, don't we? I'm talking about the rules. The one that says it's no use searching if you don't know what you're searching for. Good point. I'll get you started, but that's all I'm doing. That's a lot, boys. Ship movements, cargo manifests for the last two years. Don't get much call for these. Where are you fellas from? Miscellaneous affairs. What's that? Exactly what the name implies. Mind telling me what you want with all that stuff? Yeah. Guess none of my business, eh? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be just down the hall. That's good to know. I looked at all these on microfilm last week. There's nothing here. You looked, but you didn't see. You've got to cross-check every ship that did business with Belkin. Where it came from, where it went, and how long it was here. But if we don't know what we're looking for, I thought you said... Yeah, there's got to be a pattern. Maybe there's one ship that keeps turning up on the list, or one port that they all stopped at before they came here. Who signed the manifest? Usually it's the captain, but maybe Bell can use somebody else. Or maybe the same person signed a bunch of different ships. It's going to take more than a week. At least. But they can't be all fun and games. Right. Speaking of 
speaking of fun and games, I gotta get back to Greenspan. Good luck, pal. Same to you. Good, thanks. What for? Well, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have the undeniable pleasure of being able to read all these again. <laughs> Enjoy. Checking out so soon? I feel kind of bad about this, Mr. Adderley. You were never here for the complimentary breakfast in bed. Maybe next time. Do you want to leave a forwarding number? In case that Mr. Greenspan calls again? If he calls, tell him to... It's okay. He probably wouldn't say it anyway. Try me. <laughs> I'll be out in about 10 minutes. I never really unpacked, anyway. I hope you don't mind that I left your friend in your room. My what? The wrestler chap. Well, I assumed he was a wrestler. Big fella, lots of muscles everywhere. He said he had an appointment with you. Oh, him. Is he still there? No. He got tired of waiting and he left. He said to tell you that he'd visit you the next time he came to town and that he was going to talk to your partner. I just assumed... and it didn't take a week. I figured it out and I'm at the warehouse. Yeah, well, listen, Pete. Tonight's a frontal assault. No, they're on to you. I want you to postpone. I'm gonna bust them, Adderley. No, the time's not right. I want you to sit there and... Pete! <laughs> Fix him up. Everything he needs in here. Has he got a name? Yeah, Adderley. V.H. Adderley. You're gonna be all right, Mr. Adderley. Yeah. All right. You touched anything since my friend was here? No, sir, but I'll get out and right away. No, just leave everything exactly the way it was. Yes, sir. No. Why don't you tell me exactly what happened? Nothing happened. Uh, he wasn't here long. Read for a bit, and then he made a phone call. Who'd he call? How would I know? Well, I thought Do I look call. like the type that would listen in on other people's calls? Well, I couldn't hear all of it. He called Pinball Slauson. He's a tugboat captain. Hangs out in a bar on Harbor Road. What'd they talk about? Some girlfriend of theirs. What makes you say that? Hey, I may be old, but I'm not dead. Talking about how she sits and how she looks and things like that. 
Her name was Marie. After that, he reads for a bit, and then he gets a call. From who? Slauson called him back. And? I don't know. He jumps up in the air and shouts, now I got him, and dashes out of here like the devil was on his heels. And this is how he left it all? Say, you won't uh, tell anyone I didn't tidy them up, will you? This will be our little secret. Lenny's affairs. Hi, Mona. Adderley, where are you? Mr. Greenspan is really angry. He's on the phone to Clark right now. Listen, Mona, this has to be completely confidential. Don't even tell Melvin. It's for the good of the company, okay? I want you to run a trace through ICOM for me. I want incident reports on some dates I'm going to give you. May 26th, Libido, Angola. June 1st, Mephito, okay. Mozambique. And June 15th, uh, Captain Sri huh? Lanka. Can you do it? Yeah, well, Sheila will do that for me, so at least she can do it. I've been looking after her gerbils. Oh, good. I'll need it as soon as possible. Will do. Now, Adderley, you be careful to get orchestra tickets. It's not worth paying for the orchestra if you don't have orchestra seats to see the orchestra. Um, Mona? Yes, sir? We've had some bad news. Clack's just heard that Adderley's had an accident. Oh, no. He's in pretty rough shape. The hospital seems to think he'll pull through. In, ho in hospital? I'm going out there to get him. Get me on the next plane. You'll be all right alone by yourself. Oh. What in heaven's name is going on? Don't worry, Mona. Just screw up his reservation. Adios. Yeah, what'll it be? I'm looking for a guy named Pinball Slauson. I don't know anybody named Slauson. Remind me to introduce you. Miss Lawson? You're in my light. I have to ask you a few questions. Peter. A mutual friend of ours just got beaten up. I'd like to find the guys that did it. I ain't got no friends. Pete Bracken. What the hell? I'm trying to beat my old record. Guys with their hands in their pockets make me nervous. Million, all right. That's a new record. Eight million? Nowadays, they give you that for putting the coin in straight. I suppose you can do better. Only, uh, this is a two-handed game. Twenty bucks? I don't carry large bills. That's what I thought. If you lose, you talk to me. OK, wise guy. Uh, you got a quarter? I beat you. 
You only used one ball. Yeah, well, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Well? Pete found something in those ledgers, and he called you. Yeah. He's talking about a ship. The Marie something? Yeah, Tilson Marie. I own a tugboat. Pete keeps asking me about this ship, how low in the water she was, things like that. And you told her? As well as I could remember. She came in high in the water, she left low in the water. What do you mean? You mean after it was unloaded at Belkin's dock, it was lower in the water? That's what I said. You got to be kidding. Well, that's what he said when I told him. Where's the phone? I know. You don't know anybody named Phone. Thanks. Listen, I know you're a very busy man, so don't waste your time tailing me. I'll tail you. Really? Absolutely. I'll know if you floss in the morning and how loud you snore at night. I'll be with you almost everywhere you go. Almost everywhere? Well, you'll be on your own in prison. Happy motoring, Percival. I told you, Mr. Adderley's taken a pretty bad beating. I'll just visit with him for a little while. Keep it brief. I'll get the paperwork started for his release. Thank you, nurse. Doctor. Okay, and there's more. That border you asked about? Hostilities renewed on exactly two months ago. And the East African uprising? Yeah, that was one week later. Oh, oh, and um, there were those terrorist attacks in Sri Lanka two weeks ago? Oh, oh, um, Greenspan's plane reservation. I did it on an invalid voucher form, and the airline people didn't notice. It's hard to get good help these days. Yeah. So, he's on his way. That's okay, Mona, you tried. Anything else? No, I've got all the pieces except one. There's only one man who can give me that. Okay. Bye. Bye. Maybe it's a good thing you can't hear me. Because we can't seem to be able to talk without one of us losing his temper. Usually me. I'm sorry this happened. We don't get along very well. Maybe it's because I'm all rules and regulations. But for men like you to operate, you need men like me to supervise you, authorize for DMs, and do all the paperwork. Completely on your feet again. I'm going to throw the book at you. Now I have to see about getting you out of here. For anything else, Daddy? Just get the lights for now. You. Me. I told you not to be surprised. You can't keep hassling me. I'm a legitimate businessman. <laughs> you better have a search warrant. And a pretty good lawyer. Stay, Butch. What is it you want? You. What for? Well, sit down. I'll fill you in. I'd rather sit. Both of you. It's funny that a furniture import company would only use one ship. 
Usually, when a supplier deals with an import company, they use any ship that's convenient. We were doing enough business, you wouldn't understand. Not what I hear. You know what else? When your ship was brought here and supposedly unloaded, she left riding even lower in the water. The ship doesn't go back empty. No. But this ship picked up something at your dock. Something heavier than furniture. You want to tell me what that something was? I don't think I have to tell you anything. No, you don't. Everywhere that ship docked, violence broke out. Revolutions, democracies overthrown. All done by people with machine guns, rocket launchers, and high explosives. You're not a furniture importer. You're what they call a merchant of death. A gun runner. Even if I was, am I responsible for the use these people put to that stuff? I'm not my brother's keeper. If I didn't sell it, somebody would. Maybe so. But not you. Not anymore. Not from here. He's a little tougher than you gave him credit for. If you gentlemen were reasonable, I could make it very worth your while to forget about this. I'm sure you could. But every time one of your customers went back to work, I'd be reminded. Let's go. Like this is our dance. <coughs> Tread on a toe? Oh. You want to lead? Don't think I'll need it anymore. I'll call it in, tell them what we've got. What you got? I was in the hospital all the time. Is that how you want it to look official? That's it, buddy. Let's get back before Greenspan gets too anxious. <laughs> Come on, we got a plane to catch. My tooth. Too much hide off you. You're still in one piece. I've been trained not to show bruises. <laughs> so, what's the punishment? Mailman. No. You're going to be a courier? Not quite. He's going to deliver interoffice mail. No top security. Memos, picnic announcements, stuff like that. Oh, dear. For how long? What was it that Major Clack said, Adderley? Until. Hell freezes over. Of course, he must have been joking, because that could take forever. Ah, 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 Mr. Ah, Greenspan, ah, I am ah. ashamed of you laughing at Adderley like that. Ah. No, 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 Mona. Don't be hard on Melville. He's just doing his job. Thank you, Adderley. You know you felt that way. Oh, I do. I didn't realize that you saw things my way. Oh, I do. We're not the best of friends, I know. Maybe it's all the rules and regulations. But for men like me to operate, we need men like you to supervise. Someone to authorize per diems. Take care of all the people. Adelie. 